big internal combustion engines are dying out, manufacturers are looking at other ways of making big power sports cars. I mean even the new Charger is going to be electric. It's sad really. Now Ford knows in order to compete with the competitors and meet the emission standards, they'll have to make the leap to electric or hybrid too. But not without a proper send off to the V8. On the 16th of September Ford filed for a patent with the US Patent and Trademark Office for the Mega Zilla. Now normally when a company files a patent we know nothing about it till they release more info. Well not this time. You see in December 2020 Ford Performance teased the Mega Zilla. It was a mystery crate engine designed to be a bigger, badder version of Ford's Godzilla powertrain. Now they didn't say exactly how much power this engine will make, but they did say that this new crate engine will produce more power and torque than the outgoing Godzilla. So how much power does the Godzilla engine make? Well it's a 7.3 litre naturally aspirated V8, so it produces around 430 horsepower and 580 Nm of torque. Now the Godzilla is used in Ford Super Duty trucks. So they aren't made for crazy performance, they are built to work hard and produce loads of torque. Where Megazilla is a development engine by Ford Performance, so I feel it's fair to assume that it will produce some crazy power. In fact I think Ford will most probably give the engine some form of forced induction and stronger internals to handle the boost. Rumors further suggest a twin turbo setup, but only time will tell what kind of solution the Ford company will decide on. Now adding turbos or a supercharger to this engine will make it something crazy. In fact some tuners did exactly that to the Godzilla power plant. The guys over at TMZ Motorsport in Detroit took the Godzilla's 7.3 litre engine and pushed the power to 600 horsepower with just a few light mods. Then they added forced induction which raised the power to 790 horsepower which is really impressive. Till you see what Merkel Racing engines did. They twin turboed theirs and theirs made around 1000 horsepower at 5800 rpm and their total power output was almost 1200 horsepower. That's insane. And remember Ford reckons that this new Megazilla will be bigger and badder than Godzilla. Now how can Ford produce a massive V8 engine like this? There is no way that this thing meets emission regulations. Well the Megazilla engine will be offered as a high output crate motor from Ford Performance allowing the company to circumvent strict emission laws required for production cars. Pretty smart actually. Now as of now Ford has not indicated when the Megazilla engine could make its debut. But any time is a good time for a new high powered V8 engine. Anyways before I end of this video I want to show you something really interesting. This is a Mustang over at Ford Performance and they use it as a taste mule for their Godzilla crate motor and manual transmission combo package. Now according to Ford because this drivetrain runs on its own standalone ECU it could be dropped into anything from an old pickup to a brand new Mustang and I'm guessing the same will go for the Megazilla. So you'll be able to get any car and just buy the combo package and fit it if, if it fits I mean that's also quite important. Um, but let me know down below what you think of the Megazilla engine and even the Godzilla engine. What do you think of all big ass V8s? Now if you guys like this video leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got many more videos on car stuff so if you like cars this is the place to be. Go through my channel see if there's something else you like. I love cars so everything on my channel is car related. So if you like cars leave a like, subscribe and I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers eh.